Now, as you think about these laws of prosperity, remember, friends, that prosperity may be as much as 98% mental preparation and 2% outer action. And so we get definite about prosperity so that prosperity can get definite about us. And let's declare it together. I get definite about prosperity so that prosperity can get definite about me. Good. And so first we get definite about prosperity in writing. And then second, as our summary sheet says, we get definite about prosperity through the idea of pictures. And we'll talk about that tomorrow night. And third, we can get definite about prosperity through prosperous words. And this is a very interesting way to become prospered. A way to create your prosperity mentally first is by speaking prosperous words. Now, we have said here to turn the great energy of your thinking upon ideas of plenty, and you will have plenty, regardless of what people about you are doing or saying. One way that you can turn the great energy of your thinking upon ideas of plenty is through your words. Any person who does not know the power of the spoken word is behind the times. The word utter and the word outer have the same root meaning. What you utter becomes outer in your world. Now, sometimes we just don't get definite enough in our words, even when we have known the, about the power of the spoken word. For instance, a lady said that Christmas was coming and she needed more money one time and so she consulted a friend who knew about these, this philosophy and her friend said, just declare now that you have plenty to share and to spare and say this every day between now and Christmas. And so every day for a little while this lady would make this statement aloud, I have plenty to share and to spare. And she said that that Christmas, pe people kept giving her fruitcake, and she had plenty of fruitcake to share and to spare. But what she really needed was more money, you see. And when she had gone to the friend, the friend, this is, was the little formula the friend had given her. Now, she had not gotten definite enough in her words about what she wanted to share and to spare. And so she got plenty of fruitcake, but that wasn't what she needed. She needed more money. And she said she learned from this to get definite about her words. All right, now let's declare it. My words are charged with prospering power. You see, so often our words haven't been. My words are charged with prospering power. Together, my words are charged with prospering power. Good. And so one of the ways that you can turn the great energy of your thinking upon ideas of plenty is through your words. Your words are charged with a great deal of energy, with a great deal of prospering power. The word utter and the word outer have the same root meaning. What you utter becomes outer in your world. And so if you would have more prosperity come to you, speak definite words. This helps to bring it about. Do not expect a general success statement to produce a definite, specific result for you. We have talked in tel television interviews recently about how the Bible is filled with success symbology and with prosperity teaching. The great people of the Bible seem to know about the power of the spoken word, and they often got definite about, uh, about prosperity. They often got definite with their words. For instance, in the Lord's Prayer, Jesus said, Give us this day our daily bread. It was a rather definite prosperity decree. Now, it has been estimated that the spoken word of prosperity can speed up results as much as 80%. And that's the reason that people in this type of prosperity seminar get results within 24 hours. Many of you have already mentioned to me things that have happened to you here. And this is the reason, because we begin immediately speaking prosperous words. 
and it has been estimated that the spoken word of prosperity can speed up results as much as 80%. Most success courses that you attend, you sit and listen to a lot of theory, you see. But when right there in the midst of that uh, state of prosperous thinking, right then when you begin to speak prosperous words, this can speed up and accelerate results as much as 80%. It is the spoken word of abundance that brings abundance to you most quickly. It is the spoken word of abundance that brings abundance to you most quickly. Now, I have seen people use these ideas for a long time with amazing results, this idea of seeking forth prosperous words every day. Some, one writer has said that for every 15 minutes of reading that you do, you should speak forth prosperity statements for five minutes. And again, this is one reason why many people do not get results. They read all kinds of books on the subject, and they have all kinds of marvelous theories, but they do not release that tremendous energy through the spoken word, you see. For every 15 minutes of reading you do, it has been suggested that you speak forth success words and success statements for five minutes. Reading about prosperity and success isn't enough. It is the spoken word of abundance that gathers it to you. Now, I know a man who went from a very mundane job to an executive position within a matter of several months, and he said that the way he did it was by speaking forth words of success every night out loud. He did it while he was out walking his dog in the neighborhood around the block every night. And he did this on purpose. He said his wife was not interested in these ideas and would not have understood it had she heard him speaking forth words about prosperity and success around the house. So he kept quiet there. But he deliberately took the dog out walking every night so that he could feel free to speak forth words of prosperity and success. And it worked. He said that within a few months, he had a far better job at several times his previous income. That happened to that man 10 years ago, and he has continued to thrive and prosper, and he continues to speak forth words of success and prosperity privately every day. All right? It is the spoken word of abundance that brings it to you most quickly. Reading about these ideas isn't enough. You see, for every five minutes of reading and study, for every 15 minutes of reading and studying that you do, it is wise to speak forth words of success and prosperity for at least five minutes. Now, one thing I like about this prosperity sheet, these prosperity statements on this decree sheet, friends, are some that have been gathered over a 25-year period, and each one of these statements on this sheet has worked for someone beautifully, perhaps for many people many times, but these are all very powerful statements because they have been proved before they were ever put on this sheet. Now, on the inside, number four is a marvelous one. I have a large, steady, dependable, permanent financial income now. Every day, in every way, I am growing more and more financially prosperous now. Let's use the whole statement together. I have a large, steady, dependable, permanent financial income now. Every day, in every way, I am growing more and more financially prosperous now. You see, you aren't just saying you're prosperous. You're saying you're financially prosperous. Remember what we said last night that Prosperity includes peace, health, and plenty. And I've heard people say, oh, well, since prosperity includes peace, health, and plenty, uh, I'm prosperous because I have peace and health, but I don't uh, have uh, plenty yet, but I'm prosperous. And so the way to bring prosperity is to get more definite. I am financially prosperous. You see, I am financially prosperous. Not just prosperous, but financially prosperous. 
And so that's what this statement says. Every day in every way, I am growing more and more financially prosperous. Now, let's take it again together. Every day in every way, I am growing more and more financially prosperous now. I suggest to anyone that they set aside sometime every day and speak forth words of prosperity, whether you believe them or not at first. If you will begin to speak them every day anyway, it will make a believer of your subconscious mind and that emotional and feeling nature. And when that subconscious feeling nature uh, has absorbed those ideas, then it will go to work and your words will come to pass. And so start declaring prosperous words, whether you believe them or not, whether they seem to be true in your life or not. Declare them anyway. This begins to open your mind to prosperity in definite ways. Now, another statement that you find is number six. I give thanks for quick and substantial increase in my financial income. Now, let's declare it together. I give thanks for a quick and substantial increase in my financial income. Now, a teacher needed extra income, and she began to use this statement every day. And she said it out loud for a few minutes every day. I give thanks for a quick and substantial increase in my financial income now. And almost immediately, she got the idea to apply for a part-time job at a fashionable uh, shop where she would work one night a week and on Saturday. She did apply for work, and she was hired. And not only did she enjoy increased income, but the job of working in beautiful surroundings and with beautiful merchandise gave her a change of pace. And she enjoyed that job very much until she continued using the idea and expanded into something far better. But this was the start using this idea. I give thanks for a quick and substantial increase in my financial income now. A businessman went from a $12,000 a year job to a $25,000 a year job within six weeks from the time he started using definite prosperity statements. All right, let's use number five together. Large sums of money, big happy financial supplies, and rich appropriate gifts now come to me under grace in perfect ways for my personal use, and I use them wisely. Now, we always add for my personal use because otherwise you may find yourself handling large sums of money for somebody else, you see. It often happens to people who do not know to declare it for themselves. A salesman told me that after he began to use prosperity affirmations every day, that he said the first day after he did this, he went out and made one of the biggest sales of his life. And the statement he used was this. Everything and everybody prospers me now. Everything and everybody prospers me now. Let's declare it together. Everything and everybody prospers me now. The other half of that is, and I prosper everything and everybody now. Together. And I prosper everything and everybody now. And then a professional man in retirement inherited unexpectedly, he had no idea this was going to come, he inherited unexpectedly a quarter of a million dollars after he started using some of these prosperity statements. Again, every day, it happened within six months from the time that he started using some of these prosperity statements aloud every day. A woman told me that she sold her first piece of real estate in a year after she started saying prosperity affirmations every day. You see, it's like this rich universe is just filled with abundance for us. But until we speak forth definite words, we do not open our minds. We do not become a channel through which that uh, substance and supply can come through to us. And so when you begin to speak prosperous words every day, it's amazing. How quickly uh, the good that seems to have been hovering around you begins to come to you. I now work wonders in my life 
through pros with prosperity affirmations. I now work wonders in my life with prosperity affirmations. Let's declare it together. I now work wonders in my life through with prosperity affirmations. Let's take it a step further. I now work financial wonders in my life with prosperity affirmations together. I now work financial wonders in my life with prosperity affirmations. 